All right, YouTubers just uh, checking in in project land here. So uh, got a few things going on here. Pretty much uh, finished Frankie up. Um, got the rest of his touch up done and clear coating and wetted up his mouth and his eyes and a few parts. And it's kind of that may not be done forever. Well, I'd like to see if I can find a like a resin Franken weenie dog or something to have him walk in it. And uh, I think that would be cool. You know, I got room on my base, put a little leash coming down with Frank and Winnie sitting there. So if I find something like that, I'll add it to it. But for now, that's him. Um, this, uh, this nightmare. Um, I started this a couple of years ago, I think. And uh, this is the uh, AMT Peterbilt Wrecker. And um, this is one of those kits that just, I quit working at, on it just out of aggravation because uh it just fits so badly and uh it has continued to not let me down as far as that goes but uh anyway i basically uh the frame's done the motor's done uh i'll add a few little details in there and uh gotta put the radiator in and start adding the details the other details to the chassis there's a few things that are still not on there but these things are so aggravating. You know, the t tires are so loose on the rims. I mean, I haven't glued them yet, but you can just you know, look at that play in there. It's just stuff like that just drives me crazy. But uh, I'll put some glue on there. I just right now I just got it sitting up on its rims. Um, I haven't started on the, the actual wrecker bed yet. I've got all the parts ready for paint. Uh, today I just kind of started working on the cab you have to drill all the holes out on the roof for all of the roof ornamentation the lights and horns and all that stuff so i got the firewall in did that uh worked on the front end for it as well um got the fenders on and just kind of half messing with those and uh just trying to figure out what i'm going to do with the rest of it. the the body will be candy red um the boom silver with candy red accents <clears throat> <clears throat> of course, there's some more chrome that's got to go on it, and I'll come up with some artwork for the side of it here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, but I kind of just trying to get some of these bogged down projects done. And um, speaking of which, here's another kind of a silly piece. And I, I think I actually started this six or seven years ago and just never finished it. This is an old, old vintage kit. Um, Fred Flintstone on, you know, his gravel dinosaur from uh, his job so and just got a little mouth like custom painted the dinosaur candy purple he's got some dark spots on there and I molded all the seams because there was a bunch of seams all over and I molded that and sanded it and I had tried to build like a little um, thing for uh, Fred to sit in made out of bamboo and it just kept coming apart coming apart and I finally got so frustrated I threw it away and I went on and just glued the seat on the way it's supposed to be and put Fred in there and so I'm gonna gotta take some uh some twine and and make the harness coming down and I'll probably put like a stick in his mouth in the the dinosaur's mouth with this twine tied to it and I might make a strap coming off the seat you know running down around the body I'm not sure if I'm going to go to that much trouble but I'd finished that other Flintstone piece and uh, I, I was just going through some of these unfinished projects there and I thought you know this is just too easy to to finish so that's something else I drug out I, I, I've got this 3d printed ashtray too that uh, fiddling with uh, it's got a buzzard on it and he's pretty cool. I already painted the skull, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do a wash on it. But it's actually painted with glow-in-the-dark paint. So it does glow in the dark, just the skull. And uh, I'll airbrush up the buzzard on it, probably in some bright colors. And uh, that's just something I just started on with in the last month. And uh, the Mobius uh, Grim Reaper which has pretty much been done forever just needed to glue it together i had some troubles with the uh, just one of the hands where i can't remember what was the deal this one it got gloppy or something but it also glows in the dark um got glow paint on the skull and on the hands and uh, i did a wash and light brown over it but it still glows really good um, this glow powder that i mix with clear works great uh, this i think i actually might have painted with glow paint 
and I just uh, I lettered up these headstones rather than uh, put somebody's name or some depressing epitaph on there. I put some nicer stuff on there. So uh, this one says, it's never too late to be who you might have been. That was written by George Eliot. And uh, this one on the back says, the fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. And I truly believe that. And uh, the other one says, just remember life goes on, love life. So kept it kind of on the upbeat side, even though it's a reaper. Uh, gave him some positive messages for whoever's looking at it. So anyway, so that's just a couple of things I've got going on on my messy bench right now. I've got to get in here and just take my entire bench apart and do some dusting and cleaning and uh, get things back in order. I never let this get this messy, but I've just been doing so much other stuff lately and I've been doing some work from down at my shop and I've been working out in my garage a lot. So things have just gotten kind of dusty in here and I never let it get that, that way. And uh, I take care of that. But anyway, um, that's what I'm working on right now. A few projects, <laughs> got a half a dozen more out in the garage and uh, some more stuff waiting in the wings, but I just thought I'd show you some of this stuff, but uh, I'll talk to you again soon.